freaking cute. So I just want to introduce you real quick. This is my good friend, Shan, aka Shan Berries, and she is the CEO and founder of her own makeup line called Shades by Shan, which I'm sure is what you're wearing right now, and oh, also wow. a, a local TV host here in the Bay Area. So thanks for joining me. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. It's been like way too long. This quarantine sucks. I can't believe it's gone this long, and we're all like literally stuck at home. It's it's something out of a movie. I, I know. I actually was just watching the news, which I never do, and it said that um, the phases of reopening is that within the next few months they might open um, hair salons and nail sh things and places like that. And I mean, look at this, girl. This is I'm not okay for you. This is bad. Like Jackie literally has like the long cat nails, like crazy colors, glitter. <laughs> like designs every season she has her own theme like every month is its own like nail <laughs> it's really sad man I'm it, it's one of the things I look down at my hands every day and I know it's not a big deal compared to like all the problems going on right now but I look down and I'm like man my hands are ugly <laughs> I know girl I actually just bought a, a gel manicure set mm -hmm. um but it's so hard I did my sister's nails and it took like almost three hours and I'm like really this is this is what I'm doing right now um so, so, I'm too, so. yeah like I don't I don't even want to do my own nails now because I'm like that took way too long and I don't have the patience for it <laughs> well so I mean you're obviously um doing your own makeup at home which is awesome with your own product so how is it working from home and having to just I mean do everything like out of your house and not being able um, to really see anybody so it's crazy because we actually had a launch and we were kind of debating, should we launch? Is it insensitive? Um, or should we just go for it? And we kind of asked a few people. And since, you know, a portion of our makeup goes to our nonprofit foundation to help single parents in need, we thought there was no better time than now because single parents are, I feel like are struggling the most, you know, especially if they lost their jobs with one single income. So we decided to do our launch and it went super well. We sold out of our pre-sales. Um, and then we did our official launch, which went really, really well, but it kind of, it kind of sucked because, um, we had a lot of shipping delays and we've never had to, we've never had to deal with that, you know? And then a few people started to say stuff like, Hey, where's my shipment? Oh my God, it's been 10 days. Even though we said like, please allow up to two weeks. Um, you know, people are just impatient. And, um, but every time that I would reach out to them and say, Hey, this is what's going on. They would be totally understanding. Um, but yeah, it was kind of, it was really stressful, um, doing that whole launch and then not being able to ship people's stuff out because, um, we had to do like the, you know, the six feet distance thing at our distribution center. Um, our creative director fell ill with appendicitis. So he had to go into emergency, oh. like, yeah, emergency surgery. So it was literally my sister and I, and sometimes my mom would come down to help us, but we really couldn't have anyone else from our team helping us because we were so worried about, you know, giving it to our mom or like bringing it home. So it was a very crazy, crazy time. Um, and then an event too, like you had. Yeah. So we had this huge event that was scheduled at the Ferry Building um, in San Francisco. And we were like this close to selling out the Ferry Building, which is huge. Yeah. Um, and then this whole COVID-9 thing happened. And little by little, the city started like shutting things down. And then it was first, it was huge gather like gatherings over whatever amount of people and then it was oh well, hundred people or something then it was like 50 people then yes. it was like no people ever. and then it was like no people and and then even the ferry building didn't want to cancel it um because they're like no well this is considered a private event because you guys are paying us so we ended up having to just cancel it um so and refunding everyone's money you know and that was just that was also a huge thing for us because that was you know definitely a loss and 
just a, everything was going so perfect too. And it was kind of like, oh my God, this is too good to be true. Everything's kind of falling into place. And then boom, it's like, no bitch, your fucking shit's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> and that really sucks. I'm, unfortunately, it's happening to like a lot of people. Weddings, like weddings are canceled. Oh my God, yes. You were getting married and you had everything planned out, the venue, your dress, the, the guest list. And it was like a destination wedding. And it's like, sorry, you can't. I know I feel for those a lot of my friends like I was supposed to be going to a, a wedding in Vegas and they were so excited and they had to postpone it and they don't even know when they're gonna do their own wedding that they planned for like you know a whole year so it's just a crazy crazy time and then um with the launch still having to um work from home I feel so unmotivated or like um, a lack of just inspiration, you know, um, just, you, you're, you could be in your PJs all day and then you feel like you don't have like anywhere to go or anybody to see. Exactly. Like, what have you been doing at home other than obviously working on your makeup line? Like what kinds of things are you doing all day? Um, well, I've been taking care of a puppy. I feel like <laughs> this is kind of the perfect time for me to get a dog. Cause I'm, hold on, let me let her out before she starts crying. Um, no, I'm, I'm jealous that you have a puppy to play with. I, I know. So I've been, you know, really spending a lot of time with her, getting to train her. It's been such a blessing having her a part of our family now. Um, and then honestly, girl, just grinding, working every single day. There's something that needs to get done for our business. I see you baking a lot. You're making oh my food. Shan, who would have thought? Like, <laughs> you said that, like, it's weird that I have no nails and it's like so strange for me. Who would have thought Shan would be? The number Baking. one staff in the Bay Area. <laughs> this quarantine got us doing all this crazy stuff, girl. Even me, you um, find me in the kitchen now too. I don't know what I'm doing, but right. You I just kind of, and I think it's just um, I want to be able to bring the Bay Area like some sort of entertainment. Oh my God, look at your bedazzled. You would. That was like literally what her nails look like every day, you guys. <laughs> Shout out to Magical Customs for oh sending this. God. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, I need one of those. But literally, that's what my you're bad, my bad. Bella Fire Designs, two two oh. people that um, both make their own custom stuff that they've sent me. I just mixed up the usernames. Bella Fire. Oh. Yes. Yeah, oh out. my god, I need that. I need that Jackie Hollywood thing. No, it's so cute. Like, oh. Um, but honestly, I've just been working, girl. Like working, trying to get out all these shipments, um, and creating content because I think that this is a time where people need it the most. Hey, so, this is what I'm doing right. This is literally like why I started the show. Cause I'm like, I feel like I need to be creative. I need a creative outlet for myself because you know how I am. I like to, to, to find fun things to do. And yeah. like, now is the perfect time to see what everybody is up to in quarantine. People that, you know, are someone in the industry that people care about. Like, what are you do? People want to know what is Shan doing yeah. all day long, you know? Well, honestly, um, I, yeah, I've just been going live a lot. I've been doing a lot of, um, like what you're doing, but with makeup artists, um, around the Bay and around all of California, I've just been asking people to go live with me and they're like, uh, yes, this is like the highlight of my week. You yeah. know, I get to have an excuse to get ready and get closer to the camera. I want to see that make you, cause you're doing it so well. Wow. That looks amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm using the makeup by Yaya shades by Shan collaboration. And, um, this is like a 12 pan eyeshadow palette that we launched last Thursday. Ooh, wait, can you guess which one is my favorite? Which one is my favorite on there? Uh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um and then I put on our lip trio that comes with a matching lip liner, a matte liquid lip, and a lip gloss. Kylie Jenner um, who? <laughs> right? Girl, I wish. Um but yeah, I I've just been going live a lot and I think that it's really been helping people. I've been getting a lot of good feedback from people that are saying, you know, like I'm stuck at home, just me getting to do my makeup with you for like one hour a day just makes my life so much better and I get to feel pretty and Aww. it makes such a difference so I've just been doing that and yes it's a lot of work but it's fulfilling at the same time um and then I've been doing the whole baking thing with my girl basic the bakery she's amazing um and just just doing some fun stuff trying new things and meeting new people like I've been going live with people I don't even know that and just fun. yeah and just like creating relationships and learning you know because I will I'll um copy whatever makeup style they do 
and then I'm learning at the same time and creating content for people that are stuck at home and, you know, need an outlet. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And then packing orders when people order shades by Shan, literally I pack your orders for you. Mm -hmm. So if I ever mess up, don't blame me, but yes. <laughs> the tape is messed up and like and uneven. That's Shan's Yeah. Part. So it's a family, it's a family business. And right now we have to be, um, bonded together as much as possible and yeah that's what I've been doing girl girl the the question of the century is have you run out of toilet paper yet like <laughs> you know what hella funny is that the week before this whole thing happened my mom did a Costco run and usually when she's at Costco she'll hit me up like hey do you need anything and I said I was like eh, you know we could use some toilet paper so she was able to get me one of those big Costco size toilet papers and literally the next week, it was like the pandemic where people couldn't find toilet paper. So no, I haven't. Oh my, you would. You would. <laughs> <laughs> I can only use one square per, per uh, toilet per wipe. So, I don't, so that I don't waste it. Oh my God, that's hilarious. You would have unicorn glitter toilet paper. <laughs> it's so funny because everyone was so worried about running out of toilet paper. And I actually don't personally know I'm sure there are people that have ran out but I personally don't know a single person in my circle that has run out yeah I mean but every time I go to Safeway um there is no toilet paper there is no what would you okay what would you use if you literally had no toilet paper or no bidet like no you had to use yeah. something unconventional what would you use <laughs> honestly I'd probably just use a cup with water and just like <laughs> get in there <laughs> um, one of your makeup brushes like <laughs> yeah yeah I mean like what did people use back in the day like yeah just water I guess water and just like your hand I guess that's <laughs> whatever yeah. well it hasn't come to that for for us yet but yeah totally uh, are you like binge watching a bunch of um what are you watching? know what I am I okay well Tiger King was a all the rage that was done in no, like I watched like three episodes and then I kind of gave up because I was like I kind uh, I, I, I don't want to say I got bored but I kind of got bored because I, I think the reason is that I started watching it a little bit later than like maybe a majority of the people and I already knew everything that went on because I'm on TMZ every day for my radio show that I do I have to do all the celebrity gossip events. yeah yeah so I already knew like who was in prison, who was accused of murder. Like I already knew all this stuff. So as I'm watching, I'm like, oh, well, I already know this. Like, I don't really feel like I need to watch it kind of thing. So no, just, you uh, have to watch it. Like there's so many plot twists. Like every, every like 10 minutes, it's a plot twist. You're like, what? Wait, oh, what? Um, it's <laughs> great. I think it was the best thing Netflix ever came out with, honestly. Wow, it, that's I, a heavy statement, Shan. <laughs> yeah, and it's coming from me. And because I like true crime um, docu-series or documentaries, I never, I hardly ever, ever watch anything that's scripted. Um, or, I mean, maybe this was scripted. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it was a documentary, so I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, are so, you Team Joe or Team Carol? <laughs> Oh my God, Team Joe. Carol <laughs> totally killed her husband. Totally. <laughs> um, so yeah, we watched that. And then right now, I think it's called The Innocent Project or The Innocent Files on Netflix. It's about all these people who um, get sentenced to go to prison for life. And then it shows their story of how they got out of prison. Ooh, I like that. That's something yeah. I, I really like prison shows. Anything that has to do with <laughs> I really I like prison. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. It's so good, girl, and it's, I've cried, like, I feel like I cry almost every time, um, because these people are in, in jail for, like, 20, 30 years, like, how do they not lose faith? Um, I don't know, so, yeah, we're, we're over here stuck in quarantine for two months, like, let me out, and it's <laughs> like, what's the first thing that you want to do when this is all over, like, at, let's say everything, everything is reopened, like, what's the first thing you're going to plan? Honestly, oh my god, I just want to get, I just want to go to a bar and just have a nice cocktail. <laughs> like, like, even though I've been drinking way too much, um, I just want to be able to go somewhere and meet up with a friend, like meet up with you or meet up with anyone and just go and like sit in a public place. I know. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Speaking of, speaking of drinking too much at home, I, I know that a lot of people are developing 
worse habits than normal, like drinking more than normal. So yeah. like how much are you drinking per day? And like, what are you drink? What are you making? What kinds of things are you um, So it got to the point where my boyfriend was like, okay, this has to stop. You <laughs> drinking wine doesn't make you classy. It's just like, like yeah, I, you can't just, I mean, for me, it's like, I'm not just going to have a glass, you know, I'm going to have like a bottle. So, <laughs> so I, um, it was getting to the point where it was like, you know, every night kind of, because there's nothing else to do. And right. guess what? Everyone is doing it. So like, you can't even feel bad. Right. Um, and I heard a statistic that sales of alcohol are up like 250% or something crazy. You know, what's crazy is some businesses are really like losing money right now. And then other businesses like streaming services, Netflix, uh, alcohol companies, they are right. Uh, uh, food delivery, like Uber Eats, mm -hmm. thriving. They're making more money than they ever have before. And then other people like can't even make a dollar. I know. It's <laughs> insane. So what I've been doing is I've been drinking, I started off by drinking white wine, but then I've gotten very fat. So <laughs> <laughs> well, like literally I'm in a sweatsuit right now. I haven't put on jeans in since this whole thing started. Um, I'm wearing these like, okay, they're like leggings, but they're really high waisted and like oh, yeah. extra stretchy. Yeah. So it sucks it in. So it looks like we're skinny, but like really it, we want, we need, Even, you know, you know me, like my whole life, I've always been, had like a pretty thin frame and I could always eat whatever I want and, and everything like that. But I've noticed in the last, like, couple maybe like the last like two weeks or so I've been eating a lot more and I'm mm -hmm. like ooh I think I'm like gain I might have gained maybe like a couple of pounds max but oh. you can feel it on yourself like you oh know. yeah 100 percent no I uh it sucks because I still haven't lost the holiday weight oh, um, <laughs> that was a long time <laughs> but then it was oh, basically from the holidays to quarantine so you yes can't. So it's like, I've gained holiday weight. Now I've gained quarantine weight. Now it's like, I'm a beluga whale weight. Girl, I, mean, I see you on your Peloton or whatever. Is that how you say a it? A bitch is trying, girl. A bitch is trying. But <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's what you, what you fuel yourself with. You know, if I'm going on the Peloton bike, but I'm eating five layer bean dip, it's not going to do anything. But yeah, but you have to enjoy your life too. Like I get it, but you know what I mean? If food, if, if food makes you happy because food makes me happy, like I know how you are with your food and you love your food and I love my food. So it's like yeah. work out, do what you need to do, but don't ever, my, my theory and philosophy on this is like, don't ever limit yourself to something that'll honestly make you happy. Like you don't have to binge on it, but if you're just having it like here and there, I think it's fine. I don't, I don't really believe in like diets because yeah. you're going to be sad well, all the time. <laughs> I know. I, it's, it's it's getting to a point where it's you like look great by the way i personally do not think that you need to do that. <laughs> it's because i'm like going like this and you don't see my double chin it's all the contour um but no <laughs> I've, I've gained i've gained weight and it's funny because during the week we'll eat really good we'll eat really healthy um i'll cook um but then it's the weekend comes around and then we're like well it's the weekend yeah and then it's like we're day drinking the whole day then we're like eating junk food and we're like ordering takeout and we're eating burritos and so by the time monday rolls around we just gained everything and more that we lost <laughs> during the week so it's a catch-22 but i think you know once this whole thing is over hopefully everything will go back to normal my weight will go back to normal but hopefully yeah every hopefully everything honestly does go back to normal because i'm i'm tired of being in the house myself but <laughs> At least I'm doing something fun. Um, I want to do, speaking of something fun, I want to do something fun with you. I want to do 10 questions of trivia. Oh, wow. Now, I'm going to let you pick the topic, the subject. So um, you basically can do anything from animals, celebrities, movies, music, sports, science, history, geography, whatever. And, oh. and they're, coming, they're coming straight off of a website. Um, they're generating random questions. I'm not making these up. Uh -huh. But um, you can pick the subject, and they're all multiple choice. And you okay. have like 10 seconds. Um, is there like a, like a pop music one? Yeah. So I can go to music and then I can do a subcategory. So yeah, because what if it gave us like rock or like, I don't know. Um, that's funny. Cause there's actually, there's so weird. There's no pop, there's rock, R and B rap and hip hop. There's um, music by year. So I could do like a, like yeah. 2000s. Like, do, would you want to do it by year? Yeah. Do like a 2000s or There's 2000s or 2010s 2010 okay we're gonna do 2010s music quiz very specific okay. oh, like i said 
not making any of these up. They are generated. Um, you have about 10 seconds before it like moves on, but it's going to be um, multiple choice. I'm going to read all of the answers. Okay. Right. So from, oh, wow. There's even like <clears throat> 2010, you can pick 2010, 2011, 2012, up to 2017. Oh my God. Um, if you want to pick a year between 2010 and 2017. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a mixture of all of those years. Let's do a mixture of all those years. Okay. And we are going. In what song would Shakira steal your clothes and wear them if they fit her? Is it Gypsy, Loca, Sal El Sol, or Waka Waka? Uh, wait, what was the second one? Loca. Lo Loca. Loca. That is incorrect. It was Gypsy. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have gotten that. I was going to say well, no, was, no a, like, was a soccer <laughs> song, so it couldn't have been that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Unthinkable by Alicia Keys features backing vocals from which male artist who is not formally credited with vocals, but is giving, given credit in, his, in the writing? Is it A, Justin Timberlake, B, Drake, C, Ryan Tedder, or D, Adam Levine? Unthinkable. What is, how does that even go? Unthinkable. <laughs> uh, oh my God. A, I, Justin Timberlake, B, Drake, I, D, Ryan Tedder, D, Adam Levine. I think I'm going to say Justin Timberlake. That is incorrect. It was Adam Drake. Le it was Drake. Oh, Drake. I didn't what? <laughs> okay. He helped, write, he helped write the song. Yeah. All right. That's weird. Okay. Which, which artist featured on Wretch 32's number one single, Don't Go? Wretch 32 is Wretch 32. Girl, I don't know, but you're going to guess. It's either A, Rizzle Kicks, B, Josh Kumra, C, Lauren Benet, or D, Sia. <laughs> who, is, who is all these? I'm just going to say Sia because I think, like, that's the only person I that's only one you. That's the only one I know, too. That's wrong. It was Josh Kumra. Okay, Josh. It is what it is. Um, next, what is the name of Taylor Swift's fourth album? Is it A, Fearless, B, Red, C, Speak Now, or D, Tim McGraw? I'm going to say Red. Red. Red is correct. Woohoo! You got one because it was pop and you know pop. <laughs> I know, I know pop. I don't okay. know, Josh Kumbra. I released a hit album called Blurred Lines that was released on March 26, 2013. Who am I? Uh, a, Robin Thick, B, Taylor yeah, Robin Thick. You know, yeah. Didn't yeah. even read those. Robin is like, yeah. correct. All right. Which rapper released the song Bound to? Is it A, Jay Z, B, Lil Wayne, C, Kanye West, or D, Drake? Bound to. Bound to. Jay Z, like Lil Wayne, Kanye West, or Drake? Rick, should I say? Should I say Drake again? <laughs> <laughs> The final answer? Yeah, sure. No, it was actually Kanye West. Oh, it, was, it was on Yeezus. Oh, okay. Um, seven out of ten. So question seven. I'm not so I'm not a so common celebrity to the adult world, but hugely famous to teenagers. One of my songs is called Come and Get It. Who am I? A Bridget Mendler. Gomez. B, say it again. Is it Selena Gomez? Yeah. If you're ready, come and get it. Nah, I'm getting all the pop ones. It's so funny that it says she's not a common celebrity to the adult world because she totally is. I don't know who wrote that, but. <laughs> that's so she's the most followed person on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. About everyone. <laughs> that's silly. Okay. Question eight. Who sang a song with these lyrics in the chorus? Some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold. Is it A, Fall Out Boy, B, Lady Gaga, C, Dinah Jane, or D, Foo Fighters? And the, the lyric is, some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold. Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boy is correct. Yes. I love that song. Centuries. Mm -hmm. Okay, number nine. Which CD by the Red Hot Chili Peppers was released in 2016 and features the single Dark Necessities? Is it A, The Getaway, B, Californication, C, The Escape from L.A., or D, Dark Necessities? I'm going to say Californication. That was incorrect. It's actually oh. Getaway. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, you know what? This whole week is so funny because every time a song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers would come on in the car, I'd be like, oh, is this Red Hot Chili Pepper or whatever? And then Matt would be like, no, this is the Foo Fighters or like, like, I, I always yeah. mix them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which EDM group scored their first international smash, Don't Let Me Down? Is it A, Major Laser, D, Driving While Texting, C, The Overeaters, or D, The Chainsmokers? Chainsmokers. Know that one. All right, good job. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five. You got five out of 10, which is an F. <laughs> an F but at the same time, F means fantastic. So yes. <laughs> I love trivia. It's like the most oh my God. so, so, so good. I love that. What app is that? Um, it's just a website called here. Let me tell you if anybody wants to go, it's just called funtrivia.com. And there's literally every category, not only every category, but every subcategory, like so specific. So it's, it's really fun. I love that. Cool. Yeah, that's good. So, um, thank you for joining me. Obviously I want to make sure everybody knows, um, what you're working on right now. If you have any new launches coming out, where to follow you and all that kind of stuff. Let everybody know. Totally. So, um, I just, again, I just launched the Shades by Shan Makeup by Yaya collab. Um, this is our latest collection that we just launched last Thursday. We did a pre-sale that sold out. So hopefully this is on its way to another sellout and you can shop at sbscosmetics.com. $46, $36, and 25%. So a quarter of all proceeds go to help single parents in need through the Mama Berries Nonprofit Foundation. If you know a single parent, like an amazing exemplary single parent, you can nominate them for an award. Um, and you could do so at sbscosmetics.com as well. Um, tell us their story. Tell us why they deserve an award. Tell us everything about them um because we will be selecting three uh award recipients on mother's day it could be moms or dads and we'll be awarding a big fat check so a lot of money a lot of money to some amazing single parents um and then what else all our other makeup as well you could get online and those as well go to the mama berries on profit um what else do i have in the works everything that i had in the works kind of went to ish <laughs> because of this whole thing it'll go um, back on track though hopefully it'll all go back on track and then um make sure to follow me on instagram at shan berries and shades by shan i'm going live every day with either a makeup artist or a baker or a cook or someone that's super cool and has nice things to say um so <laughs> Yeah, um, make sure to watch my stories because I always put like a schedule of who's going live with me that day. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. You guys, um, Jackie, what about like, I didn't even ask you any questions. I feel like oh, girl, this is my interview with you. Um, oh. <laughs> I mean, if you want to know anything now, I'll, I'll tell you. No, what have you been doing? I just see your like funny videos with your boyfriend. That's literally what I, I mean. I've been just trying to stay creative and stay busy. So I'm writing a lot of music. Um, I, I'm not recording it because I can't go to studio, but I'm writing. So I'm, you know, just saving those for when I finally can go in. And then, of course, I'm doing like lots of TikTok videos, which is always really fun for me. Um, and then just started doing the show because I thought it would be fun to see like what everyone else is up to. And I've been cooking a lot more and just trying to not lose my mind honestly that's basically <laughs> it um still planning to move to LA um when this is all over so god we'll, we'll see but I just wanted to um catch up with you and yeah totally well let me know if you guys want to do this again or we could do some more fun stuff together or maybe do our makeup together or do something I don't know yeah, 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 I'm always I'm always down for anything creative. Um, as, especially, I mean, now we have to do it over the computer. It is what it is. But yeah, yeah totally. always down. I appreciate you for thinking of me and including me in your little um, TV show. This is so. <laughs> fun. Yeah, of course. I'm excited. I'm excited for everybody else to see and like get to know um, all these people. Like I know, like I know you. Yeah, I mean, we became friends. What, like, ten? No more wait it's 2020 so yeah like 10 11 years ago yeah, about yeah about that yeah yeah so we have maybe we could go back on this live and and say how we 
became friends or something. I don't know. Yeah, we can do like a part two. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl. Well, I love you. You're amazing. Keep kicking ass. Even though I don't want you to move to LA, I know that's your happy place. Yeah. Tell your boyfriend to hit me back with that follow, though, because I followed <laughs> him, and he never followed me back. I was like, really, really funny. I will tell him as soon as I'm up with you. <laughs> okay. All right. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>